camera because we're starting. Are we? And we are live, I think. Really? Are we, we are live. Are we? Welcome to Thursday. You know what hey, time everybody. it is, kids? Scotch um, time. Scotch time. <laughs> uh, so deep breath. Happy uh, Thursday, gentlemen. Yes, sir. A couple of announcements. I got a few public service announcements before we really get that down and dirty here. But hang on a second. Oh, no. Let that man have a drink. Mm. <laughs> this is what we're going to be talking about here in a few seconds. Um, first and foremost, happy Thursday. Hi, guys. How you doing? You guys will notice we're missing a dummy. Um, actually, quite an important dummy because we've been stressed out over the technicalities of it. So if there's a technical <laughs> Turns out you can't just drink scotch and magically go live. <laughs> so if technical difficulties ensue, weird. it's Drew's fault because he has a real job. Um, blame him. Uh, but he is no, on he from Chicago. So hi, Drew. Thanks for joining in. But more importantly, we got a special guest tonight. We're doing another collab and excited about it. I don't know if you guys know this guy. Um, he's got a great show called Whiskey Dictionary on YouTube, and uh, his name's Bill. So, Bill, I'm going to throw it over to you to tell everybody. And you know what? I think we'll do this again maybe in 30 minutes to see because usually there will probably be a lot, yeah, people come, people a lot more people. But I want to, to start the show off so you can see, uh, at least say, you know, introduce yourself. Sure. Hey, everybody. Uh, so I'm the Whiskey Dictionary. You can call me Bill. Uh, I've been doing the channel for a couple of years. Um, last year or so, it's kind of blown up and it's been a lot more fun. Um, I review whiskeys from all over the world. I pretty much, although I tend to lean towards bourbon, it's mostly just because it's cheaper in my area. <laughs> um, but I like everything. I basically haven't met a whiskey I don't like other than Johnny Walker Red. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, I appreciate you guys having me on the show. Right on. Well, we're excited to have you. Um, I know I've watched some, you know, some of your reviews, and you do reviews on lots of other things, not just uh, scotch or not just bourbon, but accessories, uh, whether it's a decanter or a glass, or um, I think you've actually got one on calories. Did you do one on, on the calories in your whiskey? I think. Yeah, it was my first attempt at clickbait, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys seen <laughs> the thumbnail there, but uh, yeah, it's got I did. burger, whiskey, and just some hot chick like lifting weights, right? So. Um, yeah, like I try to do a couple of videos every month. I do one on a review of usually a new whiskey uh, or a new brand. And then halfway through the month, I do kind of like a informational or miscellaneous video. Like my last few have been <clears throat> how many calories are in your whiskey, you know, definitive guide to bourbon. Um, like you mentioned, decanters and whiskey glasses, just pretty much anything that I personally wonder myself. Like I did one recently on chill filtering because I found that I didn't know what the heck it was about you know, six months ago. Yeah, so, right. I mean, half the bottles say they do it, the other half say they don't, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean? And uh, oddly enough, it was actually really hard to find a bottle that didn't chill filter. Um, so, like, I didn't even end up finding one for the video. So. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I was looking at your, your channel uh, in the last couple of days getting ready for this, and one thing that just caught me off guard was the number of subscribers you have. I was like, man, check him out. He's killing it. So <laughs> I definitely want folks that don't know about you that are that are on our subscriber list to go check this uh, his channel out. Um, it's worth subscribing to. I definitely think that. And you, where are you at? You're East Coast guy? I'm East Coast guy, yeah. I'm in Massachusetts. So. I will, uh, I will say, so if you want to go check out the, the channel, you can search either the Whiskey Dictionary or the Whiskey Dick, D-I-C. And uh, Mark, Mark and I had a little exchange earlier today because I, so I ordered myself a shirt, really hoping to get it for tonight. And it's, you know, black shirt, it's got white text, whatever, and it just says the Whiskey Dick. And, uh, you know, it didn't come in time. So he told me I should just take a white T-shirt and draw on Sharpie and just write Whiskey Dick on it. I was actually I really have. tempted. <laughs> I <laughs> sure this. Uh, well... I'll do um, the graphics. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, uh, for, for introductions, we'll revisit this again maybe in 30, 40 minutes so the newcomers to the, the show tonight uh, can That's find out a little bit more about you. But um, before we really get into this, guys, we got to do a selfie. What you drinking oh, tonight, man. right? Shoot, yeah. Um, oh, what's yeah. drinking tonight? <laughs> I want to see pictures. I, I haven't even bothered to say hi to everybody that's logged on. I see Hoagie. Hi, Hoag. We chatted on Facebook earlier today. I see you guys Harry. up early today. Harry's back two weeks in a row. It's nice like to, to see you back, that, brother. Good to see you, Harry. Um, and of course, our lovely Lee. Um, what are you doing down in Louisiana? Uh, and then Swami. <laughs> Of course, Swami's here. What are you drinking, Swami? That's what I want to know. What is he not drinking? Right, what All is right. he not drinking? I was, uh, I was kind of disappointed hey, to leave it and turn that turtle into soup. I know. What the heck? <laughs> so let's get our selfies. Post them out on Facebook so we can see what's what. Um, I know. You do? You can, I'm putting you, mine up right now. Why is it not? What? Diablo? You have a... Are you full? Sean, can no. you take the selfie no. here? Drew's really... Andrew's 
I, Drew, you really screwed Andrew up giving him the technical response. No, yeah. <laughs> you know what? He's got some shoes to fill there. He can do it. He's a good guy. Mark, it's all right. Why is it not? Mark and there, I can't though. do it. Wait a minute. No, too late. Hold on. There we go. I'm thinking that. But yeah, but he's he on face. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, that's all actually right, pretty we're good. Yeah. We're smart. Let's, we might, I, I want to say that no, I do this with you guys. Four or five glasses. <laughs> I want to say I do that with you guys each week, and you know it's it's cool. But when I see you guys do it, <laughs> you look like idiots. Oh, we are idiots. You know, that. dummies. <laughs> dummies. I prefer the term dummies. It's really more. <laughs> <hard. laughs> offensive. But Bunch of teenage girls. It's his idea anyway. So <laughs> we do need to go into. Uh, <laughs> you have idiots. Look at this. This week's review. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, is, is Drew's talking. I'm sorry. What you got, Drew? Uh, is, I'm saying this is pretty bad, but this is what I'm drinking tonight. I got a little Dixie cup from my hotel room, so but yeah, but it does have yeah. it does have scotch in it from my from my house, a little quarter cast. <laughs> He's telling us we look stupid. He's drinking out of a paper cup. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up, Drew. No, 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 um, before show. we get into uh, mm -hmm. sort of a, a, a cross conversation with with Bill on, uh, I think we're going to talk about some quarter casts because that was something that we both had uh, at our bars. We want to talk about the this week's review that we put up. So it was this Lafroy uh, PX cast that Drew was kind enough to grab in the uh, duty free on our way home from Scotland this a uh, couple months ago. Um, I had it in my hand and I was sick as a dog and I texted Drew and said, bye, and I'm, <laughs> I'm getting on the plane because I feel like puking. But um, anyway, I read a lot of reviews on it, are, are the comments on our review. Um, and ironically enough, the comments that I read from the review were right in line with, with our sentiment of it. Good. <laughs> um, it's good, but it's, it's, it's not one. If I had choices of different Lafroigs, this probably wouldn't be at the top of it. I mean, that was my sentiment. You do I have mean, choices. Exactly, I do. <laughs> and, and, top, plenty. and I've got plenty of uh, Lafroix to choose from. But there were a lot of comments on there. So what do you guys think? And, Bill, have you had this one yet? This one's a little harder to get because it is in the duty-free. But have you been able to get this? I haven't had that one yet. But really? I have, to, I have to point out a comment that Malta in Montreal just made. Talked about uh, Drew's hotel looking like dead hooks. That's terrible. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Yeah. Look under the mattress, Drew. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. don't. Better off not knowing. If there's a mayonnaise jar in the fridge. Leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Anyway, uh, so I'm so this it's gonna be interesting. So I poured a glass of this PX right now to kind of get started, and it, I I really love the smoke on it. There's a little bit of sweetness, but I'm I'm gonna be really interested to try that quarter cask here in a second to compare it. No smoke. Just, Nope. You're already drinking the quarter cask? Well, I was sitting there. <laughs> man, Sean, it's Sean's there. trying to take my title, man. That dude, he's, he's, he's this taking guy. bottle it's put in front of him. But, you um, know, I'm sitting here stressing out about the electronics and trying to get speaker, get it hooked up, and he's drinking. I, I, I enjoy the nose of it, but it's not a Lafroyd nose to me. I, I don't really? you know when I close my eyes and I stick my nose and I'm like, okay, it's an Isla, but it's some sherry in there. Yeah. It doesn't. I got to say, if you, if you guys are picking up anything sweet in there, I can't imagine that being a Lafroyd. So. It, it, well, that's the Peters and Minas cask. It, 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 yeah. They're finishing sh in on the... Well, I'll tell you what, Bill. If you're cast. lucky enough and we don't kill this one, maybe we'll send you some. <laughs> that sounds good to me. You, you might have to twist. Whiskey, right? Drew's the one that bought it. We'll see if he, you know... I, I'll tell you what. If Drew lets us get into his long row 18 so we can save some of this back, you're more than welcome. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> hey, Mark. <laughs> I just say, Drew doesn't look happy. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so for all of you that might not know what Longaro 18 is, that was my only other number four, four-rated bottle. That is nice. an exceptional bottle of scotch that we've only seen at Caden Heads in Scotland. Nowhere else have we seen it. In fact, our, the, the, uh, the spirits manager at Vine Table, who's like been to Scotland and done all sorts of things, we said, yeah, we got a Longaro 18. He's like, really? <laughs> huh. I've never heard of that. Is it good? No, it's awful. <laughs> it's so, so we've got a little bottle. What's your other number? For him, and then next time we go up to uh, find a table for him to try some. Yeah, I think that's hilarious that we're hooking our, our, <laughs> our scotch hook up with scotch. Yeah. It's all right. Um, I'm Andrew, sorry, guys. There's some people that are saying that the cameras aren't switching back and forth, and some people say they are. So if I, I, I blame Google. Yeah, I, I blame, blame Google. I blame Drew. Why not? Drew? 
So Andrew, what's your other number four? Uh, the uh, King Alexander, the Dalmar King Alexander, the uh, third or whatever. I haven't heard that one. Either. Yep. Oh man, yeah, that, yeah. that one is great because it just has so many layers. Yeah. The um, the long row is great in its simplicity. Mm -hmm. It has this ability to refresh after every sip that most <laughs> heavy peated can't. So <laughs> Swami yeah, switching to oldie. <laughs> He's going to some malt liquor. <laughs> oh sweet. Oh jeez. Stuff tastes um, like vomit. So <laughs> so any other comments on the PX? I mean, I, I know a lot of people probably haven't had it. I think Lee, I saw a comment right before we went live that you said you were gonna put this one on your list when you go to uh when you going to Cancun or something, you're going to Mexico in January, you said you were gonna put this on your list. I think it's worth picking up, especially I mean, when you have the chance because it's only duty free. What's the price point of duty free. Ugh. I don't. I don't remember it being bad when Drew brought it home, and it's a liter bottle, so yeah. I mean that's nice too. But Drew, what what'd you pay for this? Was it ninety five euro or something like that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, one hundred and ten. I, I don't think it was a bad drink. It just, bottle. you know, it kind of just fell flat for me. You right. know what I mean? Like it, the the nose was there, and you took a sip, and it just it didn't really deliver like you thought it would. I, I had higher hopes for it, and and it just never really came through. So speak up, Dram, dude. If you're pouring a little bit of this right now, uh, throw some comments on there. Share share your perceptions. Yeah, you know, I gotta say, there's definitely exceptions, but find things that are only available in like limited areas. They're they're not as good, you know. Like, like there's a reason that things are more mainline, more mainstream. So. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably true on that. But then on the same note, I think this is a, a decent glass. And if I'm traveling through duty free and I've got a little scratch in my pocket, I'm going to bring it home just because I can and I can't pick it up the ne next week, you know? Well, that, that's the beauty. You know, we've, we've reviewed it. You Duty free, ha well, over half the bottles there are duty free only. So you're, you're mm -hmm. looking at these bottles, you know, what do I get? Because, I, you know, I didn't get a giant black at home. I don't know anything about these travel retail bottles. So this is nice. We've got at least a couple. Scotch Blue from Korea, if you're there, don't buy that one. But a PX cask, Lafroig, that's something that's worth worth trying on. And see, the fir first two or three sips of this, I got that real good charcoal, right? Yeah. And now it's gone. I'm not getting it anymore. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, it seemed like it just all everything kind of faded out. Right, it just doesn't have any. It doesn't have any stopped. staying power. I don't know what that what that's about. You but um, this. I still taste the fragrance. That's a great question, Travis. I don't know. I'm sure we're gonna get that art bag. I that that new one that Anna oh, yeah. Oa or whatever it's however you pronounce that. We're I'm, we're gonna get it somehow, some way. I mean, if I have to, I'm gonna hit him up in October when right. we're up at the uh, drag somebody in the back room. <laughs> well, have your way. So, I got a question for you guys. Have you, uh, you beat him until I get So, Will's got a question. Have you guys tried the Kelpie? Actually, it's sitting on our shelf back there. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. Um, we have a sample that was provided to us via Telex. Telex I provided so, us a sample. We've got <laughs> love that guy. Done. I don't see him on here tonight. What's up with him? He's always around. That's disappointing. Uh oh. Hope his liver's doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not, he can send us all that Isla whiskey that he's got. Yeah, he's, he's got, got a shelf load. load. Yeah, he's got a he's got crap load. Literally none of our whiskey, our, our livers are doing okay. <laughs> oh, sure. I feel like I clean it out a couple times a week. <laughs> yeah. Make sure it's still working. <laughs> Purge it. It looks like the California raisins, but it's cool. <laughs> Can someone comment on why distilleries release duty-free only products that don't release elsewhere? That's a grand question, and I think you're probably going to get about 30 different answers. Uh, yeah. I, I really don't. I haven't thought about it much. I, it's a good question, though. I, you, you know what my automatic response would be is being in the hospitality industry, it's a sucker's game. Yep. You, you are traveling. If they're giving you the same stuff that you've got at home, what's the why would you buy it? But if they're giving you something by the same distiller that's got a, it's a different product, I can't get this at home. You're going to buy one. They're going right. to sell it, and it's going to be twenty percent, thirty percent higher than equivalent liquid would be right in the regular market. Right, right. Because it's duty free. It's a deal. It's a special. <laughs> Sure it well, is. It, it does. I run specials all the time. <laughs> it does add a little more bait on the hook for someone to grab it while they're going through duty right. free. It's I exclusivity. Mean, it's, it's, yeah. It yeah. It's the only place you can get it. Why wouldn't right. you buy it? 
that would be my number one answer. I think you're totally right on that. <clears throat> Without so, a good answer. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm curious to see if there's some other folks that are on tonight. I like uh, people that are really into the industry. Hoagie, what, what's your opinion? We'll try. Uh, you haven't you haven't spoken up on it. You're still stuck on that new art bag. <laughs> um, let's let's do another intro. Yeah. We, we're so, up to uh, 32. Yeah, right I want to so before we go, go on to the next section because I got to do you know scouts in the news. It's almost a monologue. And I got a monologue coming up. It's gonna be <laughs> awesome. Um, I want to reintroduce Bill uh, from Whiskey Dictionary. Uh, for those guys, those of you who joined the channel a little later, uh, or the stream a little later, we've got uh, Whiskey Dictionary. Uh, his name's Bill. Uh, he's in Massachusetts. Um, Bill, you didn't mention, you know, uh, why you got started on this. Why did you start this channel? What what, what got you into this? Why why do you do it? <laughs> All right. So that's almost a little embarrassing, right? So, uh -oh. uh, so <laughs> Pour a drink. <laughs> of course, because, you know, I've had a couple of drinks. So, all right. When I first met my wife, right, so she introduced me to a couple of her friends and one of um, the, the husband of the couple, he was really into whiskey. And so at the time, I actually wasn't. And he introduced me to a few different things. And I found that my wife actually really found it attractive that I enjoyed whiskey with this guy. <clears throat> so mm -hmm. I started drinking whiskey, started enjoying it myself. And I don't know, like two years later or so, I started thinking, hey, I've actually got opinions about the stuff. This could be kind of fun, a uh, fun thing to do. Um, in the past, like years and years ago, I ran websites and stuff, and it was fun to have something public that was popular. Um, so I thought I would give this a shot, and thankfully it kind of worked out. And, you know, do a couple of videos a week, I mean, sorry, a month, and um, I'd like to do more, but in general, this is about the most I can do. Um, so, but, yeah. Follow up question. You started drinking whiskey because your wife thought it was kind of sexy. Does she still Absolutely. find it sexy? <laughs> Two years later into the channel. I was thinking that too. <laughs> she's like, uh, I will say that she, she already told me she wants to watch this episode with me tomorrow night. Um, like I, she didn't want to watch it live just because she's, she's watching whatever she's watching now. But she, uh, she wants to watch it, so at least she's somewhat interested. Although I will say, and we're going to get into the Laphroaig in a minute, Last night I was drinking it, just you know, to brush up a little bit on its flavor and whatnot. I opened the bottle and across the room she was like, "I can smell that from here. It smells awful." Amen. She can. And my wife says that she'll come downstairs in the basement. She'll open the door to the basement. She's like, "Are you drinking Isla?" <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> you let how you know it's off. ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but. Uh, that's cool. I wanted to hear the story about uh, how you got started and why you know why you're still doing it, and, and if you, you know, where you see the channel going in the future. I don't know. I mean, I that's a good question for us. I don't even know where we see our channel going. I don't know if we've thought about it or talked about it to that extent. I, I would still be here on Thursday anyway. Right. We're still going to be here every Thursday night. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it then. It's entertaining at the least. So. Yeah. I mean, we're Absolutely. entertaining ourselves anyway. <laughs> right. yeah. Well, I will say it's out of trouble, trouble, right? Our channel goes so like. You know, I've, I've got two young kids at the moment. As they get a little older, things will get a little easier to do more videos a week, I mean, a month. But uh, I would love to do, like, four videos a month, just one every week kind of thing. Um, right. My intent right now, like I mentioned earlier, is my first video of the month is typically a brand new brand or some offering from them. And then my second video is usually some sort of informational thing. What I'd love to do is do, like, a live stream on the second week, and then the fourth week be some other offering from a brand I've already covered just to kind of fill things out. Um, so like I totally have it in my head, but it's hard to find the time. So <laughs> Don't tell us about that. It, it's hard when you have four calendars you're trying to coordinate. I mean, yeah, it's, I yeah. it's, uh, that's the challenge for us. But um, I had a question I wanted to ask him about that, and I, I, it's already slipped my mind because I'm reading well, these. So actually, let me, let me interject then for a sec, because you, you guys mentioned where you think you want to take your channel. and. Let me just mention, you guys, I know you've been doing this whiskey fabric thing recently. And yeah, I was going to bring that up, yeah. Yeah, so it's awesome. So for those of you that don't know, basically these guys are, are trying to kind of get all of the other whiskey drinkers kind of together to collab and, and do things together and just generally learn from each other and all improve our channels. It's part of the reason I'm on the stream tonight. Um, and so obviously that's, that's awesome. But I know you guys kind of were thinking about maybe doing some sort of get together and doing... Someday, like that. maybe you can elaborate on that. Someday, yeah. So October before 13th. we do it, uh, whiskey in the six. So there, you you brought up uh, the the whiskey fabric. Some of those guys are on tonight. Whiskey in the six, um, Malted Montreal's on. 
uh, we may see Scott from the test dummies come on. So a lot of those those people that are we're trying to pull into that fabric are, are on. I just have to, uh, to to say whiskey in the six that's his wife doesn't give a rat's ass about his hobbies. The follow up question to that uh, is. How do your students feel about them? <laughs> 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 I had a great teacher. I had to do that. <laughs> but um, so before we get into the quarter cask, uh, I wanted to. We want to follow up on his discussion about the whiskey fabric. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go, so go for so it. one go of the things we're doing is this October 13th, we're doing Whiskey Expo. <laughs> and part of that discussion is bringing us to a Whiskey Expo to talk about the, the fabric and to bring some of the YouTubers in and to coordinate and have discussions with the people that are at the expo, talking to the YouTubers that are that are streaming in. We got we got this great plan to make this all work. And so as long as we have Drew here to do the tech work, we may we'll be fine. Yeah, right. We'll be fine. But yeah, that, I mean that's the key. So that again, we've talked about this before. Part of the the best part of scotch is getting together to drink scotch. It's it not necessarily the liquid itself. And so that's what got us really involved is the four, five, six, seven, eight people that come down here on a Thursday night to drink to drink scotch or drink beer or whatever, but to hang out, to throw darts, to watch the movies and to have fun. And so that is the that's part of that fabric is that if you don't have a group like this in your neighborhood that you need to deal with, you go out to the fabric, you go out to the YouTubes and you go to these live feeds and then you can really discuss and become part of that fabric as in all over the world worldwide which is amazing uh, yeah i mean i i chatted with hoagie he's in berlin i chatted with him for i don't know 15 20 minutes on facebook messenger today just because of this channel yeah. you know I, so there's the socialization aspect is really cool and i can't wait for that expo mm -hmm. we got to really get our, our aces in a row for that and we're hoping that a lot of people that subscribe to the channel uh and some of these other channels bill uh six swanee all you guys we really want to work you into that that experience um to it's show a Friday off. night. What else do you have to do? Right. We're heading up north to put the word in the streets. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, so, so one thing I, I'd be more happy to show up on the on the thing, help you out at the expo. That'd be great. One thing I want to note: some of the hey, live Scott. chat going on. Um, Tom R, local guy, giving us tips on on other um, bars around. That's kind of a key. Is we are a local. We're in the Indianapolis area, and and so for Tom to to give us some other hints of liquor stores, that's great because. A lot of those times, you know, one of the best ones, you know, Wine Table has some really nice bottles. But we found some great one, great ones at, at a discount liquor store in town. They have a great uh, Scotch selection. Never would have thought it. So, right. so you don't know until you actually go into the liquor store and find out. It's not switching again. All right. So whatever you you fixed it, and then you poked around and you broke it. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up on comments. Drew's texting. Right. I'm trying to typically support you guys for remotely. It's a bitch. Let me tell it's you. It's not so easy. Uh, I know. Somebody needs to. We're we're pretty incompetent uh, at that stuff. Yeah. Right. It's not, it's not switching. Switching. We're excellent at drinking scotch. You may have to mainly. Hey, hey Andrew. You may have to mainly just switch people when they talk. Okay. Just so FYI. So it's not switching now. Um. Well, I can't tell now because we're. I'm behind thirty seconds looking at the stream, but it wasn't switching. It was stuck on Bill's pretty face for about twenty seconds. All right. Well, you know, we want to give, we want to promote right. the, the guests. Yeah, <laughs> we, we do, and, and that's, that's fine. Sticking cool. on him all night—that's cool. I mean, let's let's take it over to something right, that we I'll, can. I'll we try can and talk switch about. it if I can. I, mean, um, I didn't come up with a trivia question for Scott's trivia tonight, you did? so I did not. I but I did kind of throw a hint out to Bill when I was talking to him on the phone earlier today. Maybe he's got one. So I do. Yeah. Oh man, you are a lifesaver, brother. That's why I mentioned right. it because I was drawn. It's really wrong. You give me a homework assignment, I can't not do it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's more that's Drew's Drew's business, right there. It is. So first, first one to answer in the comments, Bill. Okay. That you know, I guess the topic it's anything you want because last week it ended up being a hockey question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kept it whiskey related at least, but I could probably come up with something else. But I, I can't promise this is going to be hard because frankly, I I don't know how hard this is, but. All right, let me, uh, I tried to word this in a way that didn't suck, so let me try this out. All right, of the four regions in Scotland, what was the last one to be recognized as a formal region for Scotch? Ooh, that's a good question. Oh, the last one to be recognized as a formal region. So we've got, what, Highlands, we've got Speysides, we've got Islands, we've got Did you Islas, say four? Because there's five, aren't there? 
Well, so there's four, but what, the one that you're thinking of, the five, they're actually combined. Okay. Yeah. So that you've got the Highland, the Lowland, the Islay, and then you've got Space Side. And the, the, the fifth one that you're thinking, I forget what the name is, is like Cambro Hamilton. something. Yeah, that's part of Islay. <laughs> Man, I don't know, guys. That's why he's a dictionary so, and yeah, you're not. So you look at the comments, Bill, no, and you tell me name. who's got it first. Uh, so, so far, nobody's got it. And considering there's only four choices, people should just start spamming the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you look like a famous German hockey kid. I'm glad to hear uh, it's not too easy. Logie, right. you're wrong. You said Campbelltown? Well, Campbelltown isn't an official one. So he looked like German soccer trainer Jurgen Klopp. It's space side, John John DeVoe. There. Are you serious? Space side's the, yeah. the most I, recent one? I actually knew that. What the I fuck did. is that? Well, about? because it's a portion of Because Highland. it's a part of the Highland. <laughs> yeah, I've argued that for a while. And that, that drives me crazy <laughs> because if you pay attention to some of these distilleries on their marketing, you know, they'll say – uh, they'll they'll make it a big point to say Highland, and I'm like, but they're in the heart of Speyside. Why wouldn't they say that? And then, well, Speyside is a high okay, whatever. Right. Well, if you think about it too, I mean, just as many of them make a big deal about being from Speyside, which if they're the new hotness, they're going to want to advertise that, you know? Right. So that's for sure. In right, cool. retail. Good job, John. <laughs> <laughs> so John DeVoe, send us your. Mail I think John's got a bottle hanger. I think, I think hanger you sent a, yeah. sent a bottle hanger too. So what else you want? Send John? us your new information. Scotch number four dummies at gmail.com. We may have lost your email. I mean, if if you've already got a bottle hanger, maybe we can get you some rock of honey or something. I, I, well, the other thing we are we, now. The ones we were sending now are signed by the port. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> true. And then you can sell the other one. And we were mostly so. <laughs> yeah, keep it collectors item. Pre-signed well, version. Yeah, well. Right. Um, so to... anyway, that was that was Scotch trivia or whatever. I did do a little Scotch <clears throat> in the news research tonight, and uh, there's really not much going on in, in the world of Scotch in the news uh, in the last 24, 48, 72 hours, whatever. But I did find an article that I found was really hilarious. Um, the oldest woman in New Jersey who is celebrating her 110th birthday um, attributes her longevity to three beers and a little nip of Johnny Walker Blue every day. <laughs> like, that's awesome. Grandma's got to have her medicine. Awesome. Grandma, right? Got to take a little nip of the freaking good stuff every day. There, no. and if that gets you to 110, I guess I can't argue with it, right? If that's the case, I'm going to live forever. Blue, huh? At least Where she's not drinking blue. cheap stuff. Where was she from? New Jersey. New Jersey? Yeah, which you would think that, um, what's the average lifespan in New Jersey? Like 40? I mean, she's... Because <laughs> he gets shot? What? I don't know. All right, so I got a question. Oh, it depends worry, right? on if she had some little... All right, little. since you guys are the, the scotch guys. Uh, well, blended scotch in this case. What is your favorite Johnny Walker? And I mean, blue is kind of the obvious choice, but personally, I've got a different choice. I would say the gold 18 centenary blend. Gold 18 centenary what blend? What was that one down there? That I like? Which they don't make anymore. Right. Oh, yeah. The uh, the rye yeah, or the, the rye? rye? No, the... Honestly, oh, rye rye I'm a really big fan of swing, too. You like rye? I can't. Of course. How about the rest of the guys? So this, this is go, an Bill. interesting bottle. Put that up nice. for the camera there. Um, closer. Probably get closer. Closer. Yep. closer, 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 yeah, I mean, of course. We it's always a, have a bottle on the bar, and I I don't really have anything bad to say about it. We need to I get mean, to the double. You know, back. blue's okay, and it's a smooth drink. Oh, it's, it's smooth, really but smooth. I, I honestly never sit at the bar and go, man, I can't wait to get a glass of blue. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's nice when we have it, and I enjoy the hell out of it when we do. But it's not something that I crave. I, yeah, you know? I don't think it has the flavors too crazy. It, no, it's, it's just, it's just a smooth, really smooth liquid, right? Yep. Which is nice, you know. I'm a big fan of, uh, big. I'm a big fan of Monkey Shoulder actually for what you're getting out of the the, the scotch and the value. It's a good quality. I got a bottle of that right behind me, although it's a little far out of my my range for my mic. So, <laughs> wow, look at the comments flying. That how was much, a good how much question. Do you pay for that? Um, 
All right, so let me just throw this out. So my, my favorite is green. Um, I, green? I, yeah, like, so the, the green really? before it disappeared anyway. I haven't tried it since it came back, so I, I don't know if it tastes different. But. Well, supposedly, I talked to the ambassador oh. at the Whiskey Expo last year, um, and, and Johnny Walker had a slew of people there, right? They probably had a dozen people there. And mind you, eight of them were probably just hired people to pour. They didn't know a damn thing about the brand. But right. the guy that was in charge of it all, the main ambassador, he said – that it's the same juice that ever was, ever will be, that's gone in green, because people are saying it's different. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I couldn't dispute it, but we tried the green. So the good. The, yeah, the newest, latest green, it's decent. Uh, mm. But I still, uh, I really like the gold, the old gold, not the gold reserve, but the, you know, the good old The old gold was really good, but you can't get it anymore. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I didn't vote for them yet. I am. So, good so I'll have the same question for Bill. I want to ask you, what do you like about the, Gold reserve centenary, not reserve. So the the centenary, centenary it, yeah. Um, you can't find it. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's why. It's, well, no, it's I. Um, I like the spiciness in, in in the Johnny Walkers. That's why I like the swing a lot too. Mm -hmm. I mean, black. Yeah, I like it because it's good and smoky and it's cheap and it's it's you know a good go to. But I like the the swing and the gold because of the crisp spiciness on the on the palate in the back end. Um, and hey, Mark. It, yeah. Did we do that in our in our blend competition where we kind of did the blue and the platinum? Was it the gold? Um, gold reserve, yeah. No, yeah. it wasn't. We didn't do. We've never touched gold reserve. No, I, I really don't I, want I, to. I think so. No, it was the original. Yeah. So we did blue, platinum, and gold. Eighteen, the centenary. So that that's our highest rated video. That's our high, highest viewed video, actually. Yeah, we got like thousands of views. Yeah, on that one hits a lot. Um, so, Bill, what's your view on the green? Oh like? man, I of course I've, at this point it was a little far away to to remember details, but I think for me personally it, it's got to be more nostalgia than anything because <clears throat> uh, at that point I was at that point probably the fanciest whiskey I had on my bar was a Johnny Walker Black. <laughs> this is <laughs> bad. Right, yeah, you know, and then and then I decided to move up, which of course was the the next one was green, and uh, so to to me it was. Um, it's probably more nostalgia than anything. I, I actually have intent to go through the whole rainbow there. Um, my next one's double black. So I, I did the did the Johnny Walker red because I wanted to just be grossed out on my own channel. And then uh, <laughs> I did the, the black and We've next will be the, the green and whatever. So um, we'll see if my, my opinion of it remains the same. But. John's comment. John DeVoe's comment. You can no, probably scroll and see it. Well, I mean, we walked into, it was uh, St. Patrick's Day, big parade downtown, and we do a big pub crawl with a lot of friends, and uh, Drew and his wife and, and my wife and I, we stumbled into this, one of these uh, bars downtown Indianapolis that was on the pub crawl, um, walked in, and it was kind of like we walked into Bizarro World, like, you know, one of these things is not like the other, and we were the thing that stuck out <laughs> that wasn't like that, and it was like, whoa, what's going on, and walked up to the bar, they were really nice, and they had I had two bottles of green. I mean, big bottles, old. These are oh, yeah. bottles. And, and I flat out tried to buy the bottle right in the bar. I'm like, I don't open it. Don't open the bottle. I just want to buy the whole damn thing. And she's like, no, no, we can't do that. I'm like, yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> don't open it. Of course, I was three. It's just money. So when it was like the eighth bar by then on a pub crawl. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Your credit card's yeah. coming out. Well, you, charge know, me. you know what you did wrong on that, man? You should have gone back the next day. Well, why? Because we sat there and Drew, tell, I'm not lying here. Well, I finally ordered one because she opened the bottle. I'm like, I'll have a glass. And she didn't know how to pour scotch. We, she just opened it and poured a whole glass. She filled the glass up like this with straight so, like, so I was with him and he was like, Drew, come here. I'm like, what? 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 He goes, come here. Come here. I'm like, what is that? And he goes, look, look what she's got. I'm like, is that green? He's like, yeah. He goes, open it up. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Open it up. Give me like a, a poor glass, a big, huge glass of this stuff. Yes. Keep coming. Can we buy this? She's like, yeah, whatever. And she starts pouring this huge glass. We're like, Oh my God. Keep coming, keep coming. It was, it was awesome. I crawled out of that place. I was dead. Well, you're, we were, we were hammered. Dude, I'm nice. coming for every time. <laughs> this is how their pour is. Right. They're only going to be open for three weeks. So that's right. They're going to be awesome. For you. I think they ended up with that whiskey because they bought the bar from the previous owner and had no idea what it was. Just keep it on the shelf. Somebody will buy the shit someday, right? <laughs> and somebody guy, did. Damn, I want the Next whole St. Patrick's Day when you go back, it'll still be there. Damn right. <laughs> so, Swami, I got to ask you. So you, you mentioned that you took down your Johnny Walker Red video. I 
I got to say, of all of my videos, that one probably gets the most hate of everything. Um, <laughs> really? Was that your reasoning? I, I'm curious. I it's interesting. Like Johnny, oh, all right, I, I can't all right. So <laughs> Johnny Walker Red. So I've got a, a buddy that I work with, and he told me that he went. I can't remember the country, but he went overseas somewhere, and they were selling these little. He describes them as ketchup packets of Johnny Walter Red. What? <laughs> and you could buy them for like 25 cents or something like that. So you just buy like a handful of them and you just put them in a glass. And he said it was every bit as bad as you would expect it would be. Damn but I'm, I'm just curious if anybody else in the chat has ever run into Johnny Walter. Before. <laughs> uh, no, but I think not, I'd buy Not that they're willing to admit anyway. Right? No. <laughs> How desperate are you to open a ketchup packet full of strange booze? Oh, man. I would... <laughs> How many of you guys been trying? Speaking of which, I've been trying so hard to buy one of those snake whiskeys, but you just can literally not get them in the United States. Plus yeah, snakes. right. Yeah, you got to go to Korea. Yeah. You got to yeah. go to the Asian countries to get that. What is it? Back in the country. They, put, like, they actually have a snake in the bottle. Right. Yeah. Poison a snake in so the bottle. I, I yeah, want to take seahorses too. Seahorses. Yeah. Yeah, you can do a bunch. There's, there's spiders, scorpions, snakes, all kinds of stuff. I mean, I've had a little mess cow with a worm in it, but <laughs> that's about as far as I'm going to go. I did do one. Right, so guys, I'll call back to one of the live chat uh, comments that John DeVoe was talking about. You know, his, his girlfriend wanted to buy him a shirt, but she thinks he just won a shirt by uh, answering the question. So what you actually won, I'll give you one of these. Yeah, suckers. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that his girlfriend is on the hook now and watching the show because hey, this has been a process. So, yeah, we're going to give him a sign. Signed, yeah. yeah, that's wow. a signed one. Scotch for Dummies nice. signed oh. by the Scotch for Dummies. And um, we'll send that out to you. Send us your, ad at your address. This is email. first edition because I'm going to change my signature to the whore. <laughs> <laughs> the whore? <laughs> oh, my that's more God. appropriate. Yeah. I hope that's for work. Hey, so, guys, what, you, guys, what do you think about pouring some quarter casts and letting uh, – Bill talk about and give us his thoughts. Yeah, I, so. like I, I, I actually I was waiting to, for the right time, so you just made the break. Um, we can put that on the wheelhouse. So, boom! Wheelhouse. Oh, oh, that's a wheelhouse. Sentence. Someone say the bringing. words. Uh, tough, tough job. Mm -hmm. I'm already drinking it. Except FYI. All yeah. right, so you talk about yeah, it first. So Jerry. Let's get you on yeah. there. I've already talked about it enough times. It's it's my cake batter god. I love this thing. This is a great. I want to leave you sitting alone in that hotel room, man. Um, <laughs> it's one of my favorite with Froy's. Yep. He's not alone. <laughs> Dead hooker. Dead hooker. <laughs> I've got I've got no, thirty three people watching right now. We're yes. we're not alone. No, we're not alone. Dead so hooker. dead hooker storage. What uh, what do you think about the quartercast? Do you have a review on your channel, Bill, of of quartercast? Not yet, but probably within the next couple months, for sure. Oh, I, was, I thought you were going to say in the next 15 minutes there will be. <laughs> like, Hell yeah, right? <laughs> you know, actually, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I already have my setup all set up. <laughs> but my I know, uh, if I had done a Lefroy before, I probably would actually do that tonight. Oh, you um, haven't done a Lefroy at all? Yeah. So the only other Lefroy I've ever had was actually Lefroy 10, which in my memory was actually more PD than this. Yeah. But you guys yeah. might... It is. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, I, I actually like that this one, in my mind, when I have Lefroy, it's all about being PD, like that's their thing. So the fact that this is less PD is almost, was originally a little disappointing. Um, having it again tonight, I'm starting to pick up a little bit more of the, the tasting notes and stuff, and it's, it's better tasting than Lefroy 10. But as I said, in my mind, it just should be more PD. Like, it should taste like a tire fire in your mouth, but in a good way, you know? <laughs> That's a good uh, analogy. Yeah, so, you just got to put thumbs up <laughs> from the beer drinker in the room. So, you know, a couple of years ago, Lefroy was doing this thing where you could type in what you your review of a scotch and you get a little uh, poster. I, I, I had Lefroy 10, and I reviewed it as it's like licking an iodine bottle that's been through a house fire. <laughs> Essentially, that's what it is. The iodine, that peat, that rich, that ocean, sea, all that kind of stuff. And it's just, it's so pungent. I mean, that, that yeah. Lefroy charcoal. You can feel the, the charcoal in your mouth. Yes. <laughs> but that's the bottle they use for them, those commercials. Yes. Yeah, the 10. the 10. This is like a really good mix. So they take this, they basically take, they, it's a non-age. So they take the, their standard Lefroy, and then they, then they put it into another barrel, another you know, quarter quarter size barrel, so it's got a lot more surface area to extract mm. more material out of that the barrel. And 
I think it's, it's a beautiful. It's made with beautiful yeah, real. I actually found it. I actually <laughs> nice. Um, I actually found this is only aged half the time of a Lafroy tan. It's only five years, and then like finished for however long. Not probably not too long. So. Yeah, and, and I don't know. That's a whole other conversation, Bill, on, on on age statements and non-age statements, and you know how old does a uh, scotch have to be before it's good? I mean, well, for three years. Three years. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. I I Speaking never get hung up on the time. age. Uh, I I love the quarter cask. I, I, I this is my bottle, is and I've got another full one in a box bag at home. That's why I was really cool with bringing this one over and letting Sean kill it, because he's probably going to this. <laughs> I was actually going to have Wolfburn, but if you're off, <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the beauty of this, so we, my wife and I went on a on a, the Maker's Mark um, distillery tour a couple weeks ago, and Maker's Mark is a wheat bourbon. It's super sweet. It's mm -hmm. they, they age it for an average of six years in their casks, and then they're done. They're done with them. They send them all to Lafroy. So, so that is the baby Lafroy cask. So no, I don't know where they get their quarter casks. I don't know if they take the Maker's Mark cask and then cut them down to make a quarter cask, which is much smaller. But then you extract that sweet wheat bourbon out of that cask, and I, that must be what's adding that sweetness and the vanillas so, and the kick batter to this. I got to call Wine Light out. It's the only comment on here. All the people, Wine Light says, everybody's going to get mad. But I pretty much think all of Freud is terrible. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> you, go. you got somebody supporting you. I know. I'm not even getting mad at you. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. No, That's you're cool. right. It's a very oh. strong flavor. But you know what? That's why they do those commercials. Yep. Like, they realize that it's not for everybody. You know what? Not everybody wants to go into the wheelhouse. Oh! Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. That was cheap. So, keep so keep that, drinking it out of Dixie Cup. I mean, this, this is my, what is Tiki, it, my Tiki. tire barn, I'm going to call it. A tire fire, that's what it says. No, no, I'm saying. But this tire is, cabin. Tire, this is my tire cabin, so I don't have to drink again. But but I, I enjoy these. Yeah, everybody's not that way. And, and, you know, most people will take it and, again, you walk in the room, you smell a Lafroy before you even uh, yeah, walk in the room. Be. Yeah, <laughs> it's some it's thrown before you walk in the room, so that is something that you have to, you have to be ready for. And you know, people, I drink black coffee. Some people can't take black coffee. It's just the what your palate is. Good well, for. my question is, why am I? How how long have you been drinking scotch? Just curiosity. I'm not trying to beat you up over the fact you don't like Floyd. That's great. Because yeah. it takes people a while to come to that. Usually. I honestly have come to to honestly believe that all roads lead to Isla. You start somewhere on the island and you love that flavor, and sooner or later you end up on Isla. Did you some, see Hoagie's coming? I, I just I, I have to stop you right now because Hoagie suggested a whiskey and Coke with the Floyd quarter cask is the best whiskey and Coke you will ever have in your life. Really? It's, it's, it's it doesn't have the – it prevents it from getting too sweet. All right, so yeah. time up. All right, you know what? Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll return right back. He just take it off my mic. I'm going to go get some Coke. I'll be right back. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Honestly, uh, the, the, um, when, I wow. researched, when I researched whiskey or scotch in the news, um, one of the articles I read today was about some bar in uh, San Francisco called Live China, I think. Um it's an uh, upscale bar. That's their thing now. They're actually making mixed drinks with high-end scotches. And I don't mean, you know, 10-year-olds. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, we're going to make a mixer with some Johnny Walker Blue. We're going to make a mixer with some Chivas 21. We're gonna, I mean, and I'm like, really? And they're proud of it, and that's what they're saying. Is the thing. And most of these mixed drinks are 50 to $60 a bottle. Well, yeah, you can put a whole bottle of scotch in there. Well, whatever. I mean, uh, not, not, not with those kinds. I mean, who's to say it's not? I just, I really enjoy it. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Did you get killed? Hey, but um, by the way, while we're while we're waiting, quick time out. I want to do a huge shout out to uh, Whiskey in the Six is doing a Game of Thrones after show. Um, That's right. This Sunday, uh, as soon as the finale oh, for this season ends. So y'all need to go over to Whiskey in the Six's channel, hit the subscribe button, so you know when that goes live because we're all going to be on there. Drinking to whatever happens on the end of that show. I don't know what's going oh, on. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Also, let's make sure we go over to Mal Malta and Montreal side, too. He's trying to get the 400 subs. Let's give him some subs and, and give him some love as well. Swami, you ain't got 400. We'll get Swami 400. Yep. All right, I'll go over there and subscribe right now. I see Malta Bank. Come on, as well. I mean, I subscribe so, 
I'm going. Whoever I'm have, uh, you want to subscribe. Rick and Morty <laughs> after show party too. A what? All right, so who was it that suggested the the Lafarg and the Coke? Because I got to know what what my his ratio. Name, his name is Hoagie Bear, and Hoagie I'm probably right. butchering the way his name is. He's in Berlin. Um, actually, a lot of Scotch knowledge. Hoagie's been Huge around for a Scotch long time. Knowledge. Um, sent us a few samples. Great guy. Um, I actually got a pretty good little stash of Scotch over in his flat in Berlin. If we ever make it to Germany, I'm raiding it. <laughs> just because he stored it on the floor. I just need half ounces. So, so Bill's got it. He's got the ice. He's got the coke there. He got the. Oh yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm waiting for Hoagie to uh, jump in here and tell me how much uh, Lafroy got. All right. So what's the mixture? What's the, yeah. What's, what's the, the percentage? <laughs> we need fifty-fifty, the... Hoagie. We're doing it live. Four fifth scotch. To take take cork out of bottle, sip, yeah. and take a sip of coke. <laughs> wow. Pour this right, in. Whatever. I'm just gonna wing it. Pour I'm the assuming, coke. I'm assuming I'm assuming essentially a shot of. Um, He's <laughs> making. Oh, I don't I don't do weak. I do I do fifty fifty to start with. See how that works out. Uh, this is sacrilege, Swami's about to look. Oh, away. look at him! He's pouring it. You got the. Oh drink. my gosh! Go big, go I, can't, I can't imagine this. All right, cheers, gentlemen. Right on. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Ooh, tell us what you oh, think. You're all, you're live. Oh man, that's good. It's smoky and uh, and coke at the same time. It's almost it almost tastes a little watered down though, but uh, it's pretty good. It's not the best yet, uh, like. I still prefer Jack and Coke to this, but this is a an interesting take on this for huh. sure. Huh. Less less Coke next time, more more uh, long ago. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, you can afford to buy that. You're not using <laughs> it. Oh, look at that! He's pouring out a shot in that glass. Heck yeah! If you're gonna do it, dropping. Going down. down goes Bill. The whiskey dictionary is <laughs> so. So, so the other key you need to do. So this, you know, this is the same thing when you mix with water. You gotta, you do have to let it kind of. Nah. Needs mix. a little bit more Coke. The um, it's it's good though. I uh, what I'm trying to think of what this tastes like. It's, I mean, you lose complete carbonation here, so you're totally just tasting the syrup and the smoke, and it's oh, so it kills the carbonation. It kills the carbonation yeah. completely. Okay, so uh, do you still get? Can you taste the quarter cask? Do you know oh, it's yeah. quarter cask? You you lose a bit of the sweetness because I think it's overtaken by the coke here. But you you keep all of like I think this would be better as a as a Laphroaig ten or I probably wouldn't want to go more because that would almost be like sacrilege. But a Laphroaig ten in this with coke would probably be better. What? what you want? I mm. can't do that. Uh, that sounds really good. Mm. All right, so let's look at some of the reviews. So doers of coke. Well, if he doesn't want to waste Laphroaig, yeah, I don't know. Doers. How much do we have? Do we have a good mixer. Do we, we have that guy on? on I got to um, see who was all on the still, live chat. Son of a gun. I hit some years. Star Wars video. What the hell am I doing? Uh, well, we got lots of people online. All right. So, um, Pellet is on. Eric Gilbert. Scott here. from Dummies is on. For, uh, Scott's Test called. Dummies. Are, he was uh, on. I head. tried to say hi to him. Uh, um, yeah, probably the high pour killed the carbonation. You're probably right. Say that again. Oh. Rob, uh, whiskey in the six is saying that the high pour killed the carbonation. I put uh, too much whiskey in here. So wait a minute, I just missed okay. the the malted man cave says he did uh, A and W cream soda and scotch when he first started. Speak up, malted man cave. A and W. What's going on with your channel? By the way, so a lot of people out there probably don't know about your channel. They need to go over and check you out. And uh, he was um, he was just on Rob's channel last weekend. He went live with him. He's an upcomer, and we need to get him some love as well, guys. Right on. Yep, get him into absolutely. the fold, man. Whiskey fabric, baby. Um, We're expanding. Yeah, I mean, that's honestly, I, my, my hope is that, you know, fast forward 12 months from now, everyone that's that's doing a Scotch channel in some way, shape, or form, whether it's, you know, it's whiskey in general, bourbon, it, we're just a, a tight-knit group, and we're really all hitting on all cylinders. I mean, because it, it just benefits all of yeah, us, and honestly, I mean, and to us, it's just about inviting you guys to our bar anyway, so hopefully we cross paths. Well, that's on really inappropriate. What are you doing? He's so, hey guys, do we want to uh, since we're talking about that meeting? Do you want to talk about the whiskey expo and see if anyone wants to come down and meet us with, at the expo? Well, we talked a little bit about it, Drew. Um, and but we didn't throw we that out. Um, yeah, I mean, so definitely, 
we've, we've, we've mentioned this the whiskey expo several times over the last couple of weeks and and we That's will okay. continue to as it gets closer to which what's the date october october, october 13th 13th, 13th. Um, but if there's anybody that's really? within driving distance or, or aren't able to get here, let us know. We'd love to make sure you guys get in and, and come to the, the Whiskey Expo and be a part of it. I mean, I, I don't know what it takes, but if you're within the ability of being here, we'd love to have you guys Absolutely. Here. Last year, we ran into some people that were subscribers to our show, and that was pretty cool. But Because we were just uh, getting started. So, yeah, like, so we've watched it, and we're like, really? So <laughs> yeah, guys, why? Why? Yeah. Our lives haven't watched it. <laughs> yes, that's the truth. So, why? So for an example, uh, a year ago now, I was looking at kind of our numbers. Right, right now, we're, we're baseline about 500 views a day, peaking at 800 views, eight, 900 views a, a day. Um, so back then we were like peaking at 250 views a day and you know maybe averaging 100 and we walk in this place and there are people that are like hey we watch some of your videos and we watch some of your videos and, and so it was surprising to us so if any of you guys can, guys can come down it's in Indianapolis um, north side of Indianapolis if you're coming from Chicago come from Cincinnati um, St. Louis you know those kind of things um, you're gonna you're not going to drive home ahead anyway. Of time. Yeah, right. I mean there, there are plenty of hotels up there on the north side. Go and it's an amazing vineandtable.com is the they do do a good job. The, it's a great there's event. There's a link on their site. To, they're they're the one that are organizing it. There's hundreds of of whiskeys there. It's a four hour event. You can pace yourselves. You can be on live with us. You can you can not pace not, yourselves. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> and I know hey, we I know, we know for a fact that Uber drives up there and home. Oh yeah, expert. So they are going to ask you questions about why you look like that when you get done. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly to Mark, but maybe some of you too. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> honestly, if you got if there's if you have any inclination of coming, let us know ahead of time. Reach out to us, scotchfordummiesgmail.com, and, and we'll see if we can. Yeah, so help make that. And happen. for those of you who can't somewhere. come, we're going to be skyping people in. And we and, really need you on. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's going to be a big deal. You know, it's the social aspect of Scotch that we're trying to to provide for these people. So yeah. and get them involved in what we do. Right. So it should be interesting. Yeah. Plus, there's going to be all kinds of ambassadors and lots of good Scotch. Well, that's one so. of the things that we're we're trying to work through with with the uh, and bourbon. Uh, what? Nothing. And bourbon, nothing. So yeah, yeah I, 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 you know what? Well, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, so let me let me ask everybody out there. I don't know how many people we got out, but so here we Scotch for Dummies. We're pretty adamant about sticking true to Scotch. That's what we like, and we'll drink a bourbon every now and again. But um, obviously, the, the test dummies do bourbons. Uh, Whiskey and Six does bourbons. Uh, Swami, I'm pretty sure. Um, we were thinking about bringing in this guy right here across from me in the cub shirt because that's his gig he's the bourbon guy that's what he likes he hits all these whiskey expos that are bourbon centric and um what do you guys think about it if we um if we put him front and center back here and we just add a yeah. little fire uh, support you know i'll drink with him i'll drink with him i'll have a bourbon i'm not gonna say i'm I like, like bourbon. It. i'll probably <laughs> like bourbon. the antithesis of him but i don't know is it is it interesting is this something that you know you guys would consider. I don't know. It's not my wheelhouse either. I guess I'll oh, drink for that. Oh, okay. but, but spoiler alert! You know he sits spoiler here. Alert. It's gonna taste like vanilla and oak. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? You gotta answer that. Mike. Say that. Say that again. Like maybe some cinnamon in there if you're lucky. <laughs> vanilla and oak. That's Every, bourbon. all bourbon is is vanilla and oak, and maybe mix in a little cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing with it. <laughs> I've got a ton of bourbons on there. It depends on what you're drinking. But you yeah. know what? If you really I, like vanilla and oak yeah, and cinnamon, right. then. But yeah. they're saying I'm a pro about you it. Are. But I haven't had any of the higher quality stuff like the Pappy Van Winkle mm. or. Oh, you, you know, the more that. expensive so stuff. Right. The, the Boss Hog. I haven't had that. We'll bring you into the whiskey fabric, and you're in the fold. Maybe and you some bourbon or some is, bourbon is, I mean, um, honestly, uh, there's no reason why you can't get there. I mean, uh, we're we're four dummies. <laughs> That's why we that started. Did, right? You know, our formal education in tasting scotch. If you're uh, willing to accept that kind of title, then come on in. I I don't know. Um, we we're giving it some thought, idiot. and and we'll, we might see where where we can go with that. You should watch our first video. Oh my then... god. <laughs> 
and then think about you know where you would be if you oh, started in Europe. Where Scott's for dumb is. Would you like it was painful. Yeah, it was painful. Oh, he says vanilla oak plus paint thinner. Wow. <laughs> what are you drinking? <laughs> he's drinking, drinking? Lafroig and Coke. Yeah, he's drinking. He's drinking <laughs> yeah, that's uh, true. Well, yeah. and the bourbon selection in Germany probably isn't as good as what probably you have. Not, yeah. It's not right. fresh, you know, shipped over the ocean. Yeah. But on that note, you know, uh, the four of us have talked for the past how many months about, you know, we, we live two hours north of the bourbon trail. We're thinking, you know, what the hell, we need to do this someday. Um, in the fall. And I'm sure it's, that you would be like, up for went, something oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, he went but, to probably – my experience with the bourbon trail was my best experience probably was maker's mark they, have a they put they give you a, it's an it's a great tour yeah we did they the, really the, show you the makers I agree with you. like a 35 dollar tour or something mm -hmm. well yeah two hour tour it's a great tour and they're talking to bill that's not this is right elijah craig too Talking to Bill today on the phone about, uh, about things, you know, he's all the way out in Massachusetts. He's like, no, if you guys, you know, are going to pull something like that up, let me know. I, I might be able to swing that. And I, I really think it would be great if we could pull in three or four other other guys in from whether it's the test dummies, whether it's uh, whiskey and a six. I know that's a, a far shot for you, but. I, I think you should bring whiskey really and a six for his beard alone. Experience together, <laughs> right, Bill? <laughs> What was that? I'm sorry. But We're talking about maybe trying is, to do a whiskey trail. Uh, yeah, totally. Bourbon yeah, trail, yeah. you know. Yeah. It doesn't have to be elaborate. I mean, we can we can uh, patch I, something together. I, if you patch something together, I'll I'll find a way to make it work. But yeah. uh, you got to bring whiskey in the six for his beard alone, because you know him and I we got a little. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a competition. Uh -oh, uh -oh, Don't talk uh -oh, about all uh -oh. that. Everybody's got that beard on there. I got the beard. Yeah. 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 Hey, Bill, have you had? Have you seen this? What is it? Um, Bond Lillard? No, I haven't seen that. No. Bond what? Bond Lillard. I have no idea what that is. It's a new. This is a batch one. Um, I don't. I don't think it came out that long ago. And I picked it up. Um, one liquor store said it was allocated. Um, another liquor store that I bought it at, um, they had about five or six bottles on the shelf. So that's a tiny um, little. It's a new? taster. Right. What'd you give for that? I put it in there. Thirty-five dollars. Okay, so for but a, 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 but a three fifty three seventy-five was fifty dollars. Holy shit! Shoot for bourbon, so, three years. I don't know about all that. Well, I ain't got no time for that. No. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pose a question to you guys here. Some bourbons are seven years. Posing a question to you. I need another drink. Oban fourteen. Was the Lafroy quarter cask? Right. Hold on, let's go. What, Bill, say that again. I was just saying, I'm posing a question to the chat. Do I go with the Oban 14 or the Lafroy quarter cask for my next drink? I, wait a minute. What have uh, you been drinking? Uh, both. Lafroy and Coke. I, I <laughs> yeah. think I, I stay Mix with them the both Iowa. together, I, make it slushy. <laughs> I don't think the Oban holds up after the Lafroy. No, I don't think so either. I had I had it after the Lafroy last night, and it was yeah. I think I'm probably sick with the Lafroy. I would agree. Oh, okay. you know what? I'm getting a lot of uh, people telling me to mix them, which I I don't know if you guys have seen. Um, I did a live stream somewhat recently. This is going to sound absolutely disgusting to you. Um, I ended up after about an hour and a half of live streaming and quite a few <laughs> drinks mixing. Uh, let's see, what was it? It was black vel uh, black velvet. And the hell is uh, that? Bully Boy American Straight Whiskey and something else that was equally, uh, no, and Booker's. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta get you out of the gutter, brother. Oh, oh, man. I, mean, I got some Booker's back there. It was, I couldn't even finish it. And I mean, I can finish pretty much anything. I couldn't finish <laughs> that. It was pretty bad. But I'm gonna stick with the Lafroy here. I'm not gonna mix. I think that's probably a safe call. Well, <laughs> man, it's amazing. Look at the. I mean, Ben Stahl says Oban. Lead Crayon says Oban. Everybody's saying um, go to the Oban. I says just don't, Oban. I mean, maybe you Christy should. Christy says right. go to the Oban. There's this one's a little frog. I'm going to do an Oban over here. I was going to say, there you go. You know so, what? Start so, with the Oban, though. Well, and, and one thing. I like really a guy who pours water. Some water. If you really want to get the Oban, <laughs> you, you need you need to put something pretty solid between them. Eat some crackers, drink some water, yeah. kind of cleanse your palate, have a Coke. Have a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> have some 
crackers right there. The coke empty? Yeah, you got you got to you got to pull that the phenol out of your mouth. Yeah, it's not going to be yeah. going well. Yeah. yeah. We, we've got we've got some uh, palate cleansers that were sent to us from Roy Aquavite. I'm not sure if everybody's nice. uh, subscribed to his channel, but you need. Uh, he's in Glasgow. Uh, awesome, awesome channel. But he sent us the Orkney Thin Oat Cakes to clear the palate. Have you had one of these? I would challenge anybody to eat a whole package without a drink of water. <laughs> it's it's not old, possible. You're pulling the old MRE cracker. Dude, that ain't happening. <laughs> it ain't happening. That stuff will turn your... They're good, uh, though. It's like mm. freaking wallpaper paint. <laughs> Don't fill up on that, man. We got food coming. So it is. We have reached almost the 11 o'clock hour. Yeah. So we are running out of time. We're going to wrap up. Wow, man. We, our, we, we didn't even hit our final. Fast. Mark has done his mom. I haven't done my mom. But anyway, time out. Before we get started, Bill, Oban 14 or uh, quarter cask? Um, what did you do? You're asking me to pick one or the other? Well, after what you've been drinking, everybody said you needed to go over to Oban. Did it hold up? Are you, does, is it? Uh, so it might have been a combination of drinking water and then a Coke. But that the Coke really didn't cleanse the palate. I'm sure the water did. Um, the Oban is, uh, sorry, somebody actually corrected me. It's Ob Oban. Oban? Oh, yeah. I think that's how you say yeah, it. Yeah, we, we butcher that shit. You all can the butcher time. it. It's okay. <laughs> so the O here uh, held up pretty good. Um, the Laphroaig, most of the smoke is out of my mouth at this point. So the, the O bun, it's pretty good. All right. Okay. So what are you, well, what are you pulling out of there? What lines. flavors? What, what, yeah, no. are you getting any flavors out of the smoke? I mean, from it's, the it's it's just good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can get behind that. Talking about you know, um, that. it's it's our eleven o'clock hour. It's time to wrap up. I don't want to just shut down without giving you some final thoughts and and making sure we throw our subscribers uh, your way. Uh, everybody that's on Whiskey Dictionary, um, go Great check guy. them out. Hit the subscribe button Give here. Give us a final. Final discussion about what you do and why you do it. And, yeah, and, remind and, everybody and who all, we are. All the key contact information. Sure. Um, so real quick, uh, basically, I have a channel, Whiskey Dictionary. Um, it's whiskey reviews and whiskey informational videos. And I do a couple videos a month, sometimes more. But more importantly than that, check out these guys. Check out the Whiskey Fabric. If you've got your own video, uh, your own channel on whiskey, check out the Whiskey Fabric. Email these guys for more information. They're doing an awesome thing. So that's more important than my channel. Now, I can't wait to get together. I'm, we're, we're, it's going to happen. Yeah. We are yeah, going to make will. this happen. Scott over at uh, Test Dummies is kind of determined to make this happen. Um, regardless insane. of where yep. we have it, uh, Swami's going to show up, and I think we're all going to go to jail. <laughs> 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 It'll be good. Don't well, as long as we set aside bail money, right. it's fine, um, man. I'm cool with it it's, happens. It's, it's going to happen, and, and what we're doing is a good thing. We're building momentum, and we're building, you know, everybody's building up, and we're having fun, because I'll be honest with you guys, if I wasn't having fun, we wouldn't be doing it, you nope. know? We'd just so, be drinking and throwing darts. We'd just be drinking and throwing darts. Which is about what we're And eating do. some of Sean's uh, pork nachos. Oh, tonight we got chicken. Chicken nachos, whatever. I'm in for that. But we too. got, we're gonna bust open my my new batch of salsa. So, <laughs> so oh, oh, new salsa. Bill, ah, yeah, screw you. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Whiskey. Drew, Drew show, us, show us your expression. Look at, look at those Drew's expression. Look at the heartache. So, oh, that's how good my salsa is. Bill, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, thank you guys for having me. Whiskey dictionary. Thanks, Bill. We'll be checking you out. We hope to have you back on sometime. If you want to, you know, have us on on your channel, whatever. We love the collaborations. Um, whiskey th fabric, yeah, whiskey fabric. So <laughs> test dummies, Swami, whiskey in the six, man cake. Thanks for joining tonight. Absolutely, all Thank of you our guys. subscribers. We love you guys. We're really having a good time. Real house. Cheers, cheers to everybody. Cheers. Double cheers. Safe cheers. travels, Drew. Get home safely, okay, brother. Thanks.